Now, the fact is, you see my horse? I'm going to stop. I'm going to back up. Watch my hand. Now I need to go this way. I changed my mind. I want to back up. Now I need to go over here. I just want the back end to walk around the front end. This is a bridle horse. What is happening is with my seat bones and my spine and my breathing and my vision of what it is I want goes right through my hand, right through the bridle, and out the bottom of the feet of the horse. That's how it actually works. Five years working with this horse. The advantage cowboys have is they don't have to be anywhere. We don't have a horseshoe to go to. We don't have to get a ribbon for anything. So we have plenty of time to get this done. These horses, if we can't move them the way I'm showing you, in a corral full of cattle, two things happen. If you can't handle your horse correctly and he doesn't ride off of your skeleton, you're never going to get a good job done, you're always going to be late, and you're set up to fail. So if you go to somebody's ranch and all the horses are tied to the fence, everybody's carrying a stick, you know why. But if you go to a ranch and there's one guy sitting on the fence, wondering what happened to the rest of the horseback, you know why. Because people have taken the time to make them. And for the sake of knowing, cowboy is ongoing. You don't hear much of it, the real people that work on ranches. But the people that make a living with the saddle, we're out there. It's just that we don't have the big cloud of dust, so we don't get the notoriety, which is fine, because we live out in nowhere on purpose. You know what I'm saying? And what happened with this documentary was, was Sue gathered up everybody and made them come to town and show what they had to show for this for this film you're going to see. And as it as it happened, we were proud of the fact that it was in fact documented. So, are there any questions? Anybody curious about anything? There's 10 pounds of wool on a typical mature ewe, in case you're curious, if you ever have to clip a sheep. <laughs> the cattle business is at a high right now. The highest cattle prices that we've ever seen in the history of cattle business. And it used to be very simple. Yeah, it used to be very simple that the corn market dictated the cattle market, but now, since world trade came in and third world countries got some more money, the cattle business has stayed on the rise. And it's a terrible story to tell you, but in the last week there was a big spike in the market simply because Japan had to import a whole lot of beef. And they got it from us. So for years, and he can back me up, for years we saw 70 cent cattle, 76 cents per pound. The same cattle today are $1.40. Okay, we also saw 38 cent diesel. I don't want to date me, doesn't matter. <laughs> Point is, there is a cattle business, there's a beef business, and there's still some people that make a living turning grass into meat. What we have done in our own little world, because of the small circle of the internet and everything else, there's people around the country putting on what we call fiestas, and a bunch of cowboys get together and they show, show their horses and show their skills. And it's, it's a little different agenda because it's not, it's like the 100 meter mosey. It just isn't something you'd really get all that excited to watch unless you're in it. But what I'm telling you is, is that there is a venue for us to show our horses and what we do, and they're called ranch horse competitions. So, so we have, in fact, come to town a little bit more. But the, the roping, like I said, dates back to the mission days. The Californio is a discipline. It's its own discipline. There's a lot 